Hello and welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and in today's tutorial I will be talking about the GNU Cash backup files and how to restore a backup file when or if you need to. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe. Let's begin. Step 1. Locating your GNU Cash files. Start by opening the file folder where you've saved your GNU Cache files, assuming you've saved your files to a folder. If you don't save the files to a folder, when you first create it, you may find your files all over the place. Because GNU Cache generates a lot of files, and in that case, you can still follow along, but you may need to locate the files individually that I refer to. If you need to learn more about creating file folders for your GNU Cache files, you can watch my tutorial on setting up the GNU Cache business files. Step 2 GNU Cache File Types Here I am inside my primary data file folder. In your primary data file folder, you will find that GNU Cache creates various file types to help ensure that your data is not lost. Some you may or may not see. Step 3 Identifying key files. The main files which serve as your backup files are the GNU Cache Financial data files. You can spot the most recently saved file by the date and time modified and the fact that it only has the name of the file and the type GNU Cache Financial data file. This is a file you may want to keep in a safe place as the most recent backup of your file. This is also the same file you would open up each time you normally work on your file. All of the other GNU Cache financial data files types you will see are earlier backups of the file and also serve as complete backups that GNU Cache is automatically saving for you. With the earlier backups, you may see a few saved on the same day. Here is an example of a few backups I have that was saved on 1019th. What sets the 1019th backup files apart is the time of day they were saved. Here you see this 1019 backup file was created at 747 p.m. and an earlier backup created on the same day was saved at 406 p.m. Step 4 Understanding the Naming Conversion a closer look at a specific GNU Cache backup data file, you will find it also starts with your file name here, and then you have the file extension. Here I have GNU Cache. The numbers you see here right after the GNU Cache name extension also specifies the date and time of the backup. Here I have the year 2023 then the month 10 and then the day 19 which is the same as you'll find in the date modified column and after that I have the time hour and minutes the only difference here is the numbers after the date which in my example is 1947 is in military time so, for example, I can go to Google and enter in the search bar what is the military time for 1947 hours and here you see it says 747 p.m. which is the same time I have here. According to GNU Cache, backup files are only stored for approximately 30 days before older backups are deleted. Now let's look at how to restore a backup file. First I'll open my recently saved file. So here you can see what it looks like before I restore an earlier version of the file. Here I have the file name at the top cats and the balance is like 629.50. Now say I wanted to restore a previously backup of the file. Because let's say I did something wrong and I want to start over before the error occurred. Back inside the folder, I need to select the date and time of the file I want to restore. Here, I will select the file 
and once I have the file open you will notice the file opens with the backup data information as the title and you can tell this is an earlier file because the net amount is different than the recent file I opened previously this file's net amount is 529.75 the previous amount was 629.50 so you know this is an earlier file the next thing you need to do, and this is the important part, is to save the backup file you're restoring under a different name other than the original name. It could be similar to the original name, just not the same, or it could be something totally different. It's up to you. The most important thing is that you choose a different name for the backup file you are restoring and planning on reusing. By selecting File on the menu bar, and then save as and when the save as screen opens select where you want to save the file and then enter a new name for the file in the name field text box next use the folder icon on the right hand side to create a folder to hold the file by clicking on the folder icon and when the text box opens enter a name for the folder then click on create and scroll down and select save as now I see the newly created file and it's no longer a backup file is it is officially a new file and you can tell by the new file name on the title bar it doesn't have any numbers or any other identifying information just the name of the file and the extension GNU cache and now I can continue working on the file where I left off before an error occurred. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I add more videos.